We're gonna play Potwasher's List here. Ward Haven. Doing pretty all right. Have you guys ever been to the foot spa with the fish in it? I still don't really understand what the point of that is. Do the fish like eat the dirt in those fish spas? So you put your, your foot into like a pond of fish and they eat the dirt off your feet? It eats the dead skin. It's kind of that's kind of nasty. Do they like it? <laughs> Is it something that they enjoy? People say it tickles. I think I've done it once when I was a kid, but I don't particularly remember feeling anything. There's still much for you to do here. Surely the fish don't like eating dead skin. That's not what fish are supposed to eat, right? Fish aren't supposed to eat dead skin in nature, I assume. Right? People say it tickles. I'm curious. What are fish supposed to eat then, Igni? I, I like how accusatory that was. <laughs> yeah, you think you're so smart? What are they supposed to eat then, huh, big guy? <laughs> dead skin is still nutrition. I just assume that fish eat smaller fish. And that small fish, like, filter feed, I guess. Fish eat chicken poop? I don't think that's true either. That can't be right. <laughs> I refuse to think that's true. I haven't played Shadowverse for a while, but is there a good site to look up good decks to play in Shadowverse? Yeah, there is a good site. Twitter.com slash GIF underscore SV. He does all the tournament stuff. He, he compiles the stats. SV wins is fine, but it doesn't really give you a good look of what the meta is actually like. It just gives you deck ideas. Dude, this card is so imba. <laughs> I can't believe dirt exists and is allowed to exist under these conditions. I tried dirt rune, but it felt bad. You're crazy, dude. Dirt rune's freaking cracked. Dirt rune's actually cracked. Okay, we have Saint. We can land Saint down alongside Temple Healer or Tina. Or we can play a Major or a Zlatorog, depending on how big their board gets, I guess. That's a pretty good start for us. That means they're spending play points and sigils not going face, which lets us recover a little bit. Okay, they killed my unicorn. Oh no! Oh wait, he doesn't summon the guy yet. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is fine. This is actually fine. Ward it, ward it up, baby. Let's go. Alright, I can mage you this. Dude, Temple Healer is called Temple Healer, but she doesn't heal sh Actually a scam. <laughs> Can't believe this, man. Saint's art is really creative. I think it's super cool. It's like a big egg. Feels wrong, doesn't it? I love big egg. Hey, Saber acquired. Okay. Now we just have to get there. Next turn, we can Saints to try and block a potential Acid Golem. We Saint so that they can't Acid Golem my face for a million damage. And then we play Tina, I guess, to deal with the, uh, the guy that comes out here. Alright. Tina is such a cracked card, Jack. This one goes face every time. You know what? Smork. <laughs> Yo! Let's go! Let's go! Number two acquired. Do we die here? Saint is gonna heal us unless they clear it with, uh, with Riley. And if they clear it with Riley, we get another ward, right? Things aren't looking too good. Fist! Okay, that's fine. I can deal with Fist. And if they leave the Saint on board, I can evolve it with Holy Saber. Which is also good. Uh oh. No! Well, at least Saint is gonna heal four, right? Yeah, we're good. 
We're fine, ow. Saber. Saber. Healer. And we get Jupiter, nice. We can still go long if we need to. Yeah, GG. Saint's biggest weakness is three phase damage. True. I like it because it, it, it helps shield against big burn and also uh, is a secondary no storm target for, for Holy Saber Evolve. I think it's quite a good card. Those ones are better when after you get five guys killed. We're just waiting on that. It's rune again, so it's probably dirt again. Let salvation come. I wonder what's gonna happen if they didn't rework Saint. Dude, the game would be so silly with if they didn't rework Saint and it like prevented you from dying and healed you ten. It would be kind of crazy with Bahamut. Now that we're on the cards, which class won this expansion? Which class won? Uh, Rune, Portal, Wrathblood. <laughs> they all did pretty good. Best cards overall. I think Rune's cards are absolutely insane. The, the Earthright cards. Life. Yukashima? Huh? Okay, well, we're just gonna have to ward up, I guess. That's a bit scary, chat. I was not expecting Yukishima to come out. I'll be honest with you. But check this out, chat. We're gonna get a we're gonna get an Imperial Saint that can attack. That's pretty poggers. <laughs> Get hit by a big egg, loser. And if you kill my big egg, guess what? He becomes a man. You ever seen the movie Eternals? That's what happens to the dog in that movie. In Eternals, in Marvel's Eternals, a dog eats so many people he becomes a person. That's a true story. That movie's crazy. Best Marvel movie ever made. Because it's so stupid. I love it. Just like the dog in Eternals, I'm gonna become a full-fledged man in a second. You better watch out. This card is actually so, it's so it's so much more annoying than I thought it would be. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? The time draws nigh. I don't really know what they're playing. Yukashima with enchanting spell? Like, what am I looking at? Eternals is so stupid, it's good. The Eternals movie is so funny. It's so funny. If you guys haven't seen Eternals, it is the best Marvel movie ever. Uh, and, and... <laughs> And it's only because it's so stupid it's good. There's a there's a plot point where <laughs> a grown man hits a child with a rock in that movie. That was kind of crazy. There was the time where it was revealed that global warming is actually caused by the earth giving birth to a big baby. And then when the big baby was getting birthed out of the ground, they turned it into marble. So now there's a big marble baby in the middle of the ocean. Uh, a dog becomes a man. The Eternals are actually robots made by a bigger robot, which is kind of nuts. That's pretty cool. There's a Bollywood actor who pretends to be his son every time he's, he ages because he's actually ageless. So he is his own son and dad. There's a guy who takes responsibility for Hiroshima, which is an t a horrible, horrible plot point for your Marvel movie. But there is a scene where one of the Eternals admits that he's responsible for the nuclear bombs in Hiroshima. Insane! Insane film! Made by crazy people! So, go watch Eternals! <laughs> I guess. 
looks like another light year level of explaining. I think Eternals is crazier than light year. I'll be honest with you. Eternals is so stupid. <laughs> Marvel, they ran out of ideas or they had too many ideas. I really can't tell. Uh, <laughs> but also Eternals is the first is the first Marvel movie that has a full-on sex scene in it. You see full-on thrusting ass in Eternals. It's in the movie. <laughs> it's it's there. I'm not making it up. Uh, and I can't believe what I'm seeing <laughs> when the movie was on. Absolutely insanity. Every time a new scene... Ha you know how most Marvel movies is like... Uh, it, it's very formulaic and kind of boring after a while. You know, guy who has powers, reluctant to be hero, then then accepts the mantle and has to fight a guy who has a power set similar to him. And then in the end of the movie, it's him accepting that he's the hero. You know how every Marvel movie is kind of like that? Uh, Eternals, it's like you have no idea what's going to happen, not even in just the movie, but from scene to scene. You have no clue what's about to happen. Every scene is a new adventure. You got a grown man hitting a kid in the head with a rock. It's like, whoa, what's going on? Then Hiroshima happens on the screen. You're like, I did not expect this in my Marvel movie. What? Yeah, I highly recommend it. Uh, Eternals, my guys. Not even once. <laughs> Uh, it's a crazy movie. Resist, and I recommend everybody go see. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, a guy has a cult. A guy, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. A guy has a cult. And then a strong guy punches that guy <laughs> into the earth. Into the center of the earth. And the movie ends when the strong guy realizes that he was in the wrong and he flies into the sun to kill himself. And it's like, what? How is this the ending of the... It sounds like I'm making this up. I'm not, I promise you I'm not making any of this up. That happens in the movie. A, a strong guy <laughs> realizes he's in the wrong and flies into the sun to kill himself. That's true. That happens. He's still alive in the comics? Yeah, well, that's never stopped Marvel before, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely insane. What a... F anyway, great film. Great, great film. Great film. <laughs> Everybody go watch The Eternals. Go watch Marvel's Eternals on Disney+. Plus. I'm not sponsored. I God, I wish. <laughs> If I was sponsored by Marvel only to promote Eternals, I would do it. Not any of their other movies. Just Eternals. Of course. Of course. No thanks, I'm good. <laughs> See, that, that I, I respect Eternals because we don't have enough absolutely batshit insane movies in the world. Most movies... Makes sense. <laughs> and I'm saying maybe we sh maybe more movies should be st stupid. Maybe that's good. We should try. We should at least try. Yeah, th that's true. At the end, Harry Styles shows up, and he and it, in the post credits, Harry Styles from from pop singer Harry Styles shows up and he is playing Eros the orgasm titan that is true this is not made up there is now somebody in the Marvel Cinematic Universe whose power is to give people orgasms and it's played by Harry Styles okay. <laughs> this is true facts you think I'm making any of this up? All of this happens and more in the movie Eternals. Everybody go watch it. <laughs> Woo! Yes, it is crazy. No, we lose. God damn it.
We didn't even get to get to turn eight, man. Ugh. They had Urias into Urias into... Uh, that's nonsense. Absolute Hyrule. Igni don't get taken off Twitch. Do you think the Disney is gonna get me? <laughs> the Disney lawyers are gonna find me and be like, Hey, this guy is spoiling our hit film on Twitch TV.